up front. They're racing for the win. Blaney's the crash ahead. is in the back, and Blaney is the leader. Stenhouse comes back to him on the bottom. Off turn four, three wide. Not over yet. Here comes Eric Jones. Nemechek trying to push Jones. Eric Jones with help. Here comes Almirola. Crash into the wall. I think it's Stenhouse. It might be Blaney. Oh, my goodness. They were, what, three, four wide? Slamming and banging. Almirola spun out, but he's in third position at the line. Great job there, Josh. Way to stay calm, collected. Scoring unofficial and under review. And the big question now is what happens to Christopher Bell? Does he replace Eric Jones in the 20 car at Joe Gibbs Racing? Or does Joe Gibbs Racing stick with Jones? And then does Toyota say, well, Christopher Bell, you're going to have. We have to let you go and go somewhere else, even though we don't want you to. To me, it's going to come down to whether Gibbs wants Eric Jones or Christopher Bell. Honestly, I think that's part of Eric's world. It doesn't go easy sometimes, and you're working. He knows. I keep him updated. We do. He knows you're working as hard as we can. So hopefully, it'll be one of those things we get put in place here pretty quick. The dominoes continue to fall, and at this point, I think everyone's pointing to Eric Jones as being the driver out, and there's only four seats there. And so, but but four seats is not enough for Toyota, right? I think that's the conversation. Yeah, so four seats isn't enough for Toyota. So where are the other seats for the Toyota driver? You can't give up on Eric Jones. No. There's too much talent there, right? So you got you got to figure that out. And I think coaches, coach, and that whole group, including Toyota, they're smart enough to know. Like, when you have talent, you can't give it up. But I think that it would be very unfair for Eric Jones, in my mind, not to stay in this seat at least another year or two. But if you give me the choice and say sponsorships are there to do whatever you want to do, Eric Jones deserves to be in that car more because it's going to take Christopher Bell a little bit of time to learn how to run up front and then learn how to win at the cup level. Christopher Bell has some teeth cutting to do when he moves up. Eric Jones is already there. Do we have to relive the Joey Logano scenario? I feel like we're having that conversation all over again. Fox Sports has confirmed Eric Jones will not be returning to Joe Gibbs Racing in 2021. Of course, he was on that one-year contract after winning last season. Yeah, I found out uh, really the same day as everybody. Um, I guess it was on Thursday morning. I was, I was told on Thursday night we kind of announced everything. but. Uh, you know, I was I was I was blindsided a little bit. I, I didn't really expect it coming from our talks. I thought we were you know, moving in, in a good direction. You are out there. Get on the phone. <laughs> Call this man oh. now. I, I have been I've been on the Eric Jones bandwagon for quite some time. I believe a lot in his ability in a race car, his talent behind the wheel to pick out what that race car is doing. If I have a team, if I'm starting a team, whatever it is, that is one of my first calls is to Eric Jones. I think that he can do very good things and, and maybe even look like a Joey Logano who's come through a similar situation at Joe Gibbs Racing where he was kind of that odd man out there. Um, I, I think you very well could see him be a champion somewhere else someday. Um, just like you said, Eric Jones needs, needs someone to call him right now because he's a great race car driver. I, I feel strongly that Eric Jones is a tremendous talent that is very capable of winning races and challenge for championship in the Cup Series. But, uh, you know, we've got a great few opportunities out there, which has, has been good to see over the next few weeks. Hopefully we can have some good talks. So um, excited about that. And uh, Eric you know, Jones is ready to win at any moment right now.
Rock's going to finish. One, two. Eric Jones, checkered flag. He does it tonight in Las Vegas. On the inside, Eric Jones wins his fifth victory in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. Series going to come today. Eric Jones, a winner at Chicago Land. Inside, can he make it stick? No, Eric Jones, checkered flag, big play day. He wins it. Again, off the turn four to the checkered flag. Eric Jones, a winner on this Saturday afternoon. It's two numbers, a four and a three. To some, that's all there is, just two numbers. But to those in racing, it's the 43, the number. It's a staple in NASCAR, a lasting legacy that continues today and beyond. Through the decades of success, ups and downs, the 43 has been with me. Each driver has added his own chapter to our story. As one chapter closes, we focus our eyes toward what's next. Today, a new era begins with a 43. The youngest champion ever in the Camping World Truck Series, Eric Jones. He's going to win the Southern 500. Eric Jones wins in 2019. Yes, sir. I cannot tell you how proud I am of you, Eric Jones. Way to freaking dig, man. For all this pressure, and you did it, man. You should be proud of yourself right now. is definitely the ultimate goal for next season. There's definitely going to be opportunities to win races next year, and I'm excited to be that guy driving it and hopefully be the guy that gets it back to Victorian.